Let's dive into the last thing we want to talk about here, the preseason finale. Atlanta Falcons, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Mike Tomlin could care less about the Dome if you ask him today. Yeah. Tomorrow night, 7.30. I, I think there are obviously roster questions, and we're going to dive into those, but I think the biggest question there is the starters are set to play. This is supposed to be the dress rehearsal. How long do you expect those guys out there? Do you expect everybody out there? I think that's the like TJ, Cam, Minka. Do you see them all playing? And how long do you see them playing? Yeah, I think everyone plays. Um, I don't think everyone plays for the same amount of time. That yeah. sounds like a layup, but that but that's just how I think about it. Like everyone will play. Cause I don't know. This is the thing. How many plays have we so we've seen the first offense on the field for like 20 plays over these? I don't even think that. I think it's like yeah. 12. Oh, it's that. Well, yeah, because they, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because they had. Because they it, score oh, yeah. on like two two plays. <laughs> yeah, they had like a five-play drive, a one-play drive in the Bills game, and then they had like a eight-play drive. Uh, an eight. In the, yeah. 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 Okay. So they're like so, 13 plays deep. Hell yeah. Um. Okay. So, yeah, I think you need more than. Uh, I, I My estimate would be yeah. like if I was making a line, I'd put it at like two and a half drives and I would take the over. I'd say that's like all you're taking. Drives. Yeah. Like three drives. I don't know. That seems like, that's like, that's a little bit if they're going to like, I, cause I also feel like they're going to try to, cause it's also contingent on how many plays, like you're not, they're all one mm-hmm. play drives. Like you're not, you're not taking them out of three drives, but are you though? Some, okay. Let me, what about that though? What if they are, what if they, what if Kenny Pickett comes out there, touchdown, touchdown, Jalen Warren, 60 yard run touchdown. What else you got to see? Like what else are you trying to prepare for at that moment? Like nothing. You, I, I think know. I'm. I think I'm taking him off the field. If I'd like to see. I'd like to see Najee do some stuff. Najee you know? ain't doing anything. Do you expect Najee to actually play? Real, yeah. real what? snaps, like quality, actually run the football snaps. Well, More yeah, I feel like at some point he's got what two weeks until after that game. He's got two weeks to rest up if he gets. Look at. We've been saying that for for a month. Like he had three months to rest up in May. He wasn't touching the football. He had two months to rest up in July. Wasn't touching the football. He had a yeah, whole he month have... to rest up in August. Doesn't touch the football. But he didn't have a game two weeks away when he, and I get like, Najee only has to stay so fresh, but like, I don't know. He's got to stay fresh to a certain point. Like he has to actually like stay warm and like see, know what game action feels like. And like, I agree. I, I don't, I wouldn't want him walking into for into week one rusty, you know, like, and that's less of a thing with, but you know, you just don't want him to be out of the loop either. Like you want him to, to be in, in there playing. I don't know. There is a chemistry thing there. I think that is more crucial than maybe it might seem. I look at, I, I do not disagree. I a hundred percent agree with you. However, I'm smiling because I'm almost convinced Mike Tomlin does not care. Like, he's just like, yeah, man, whatever. Like, Najee will be fine week one. I don't believe he will be fine week one. I'm very skeptical about Najee Harris this season. I was less skeptical coming into the summer because I was like, this is Najee's year, offensive line. There's so much good going on. And then he touched, they're like, we're at a point now where I'm just like, dude, nobody like that. That's like taking a year off of football. What are you doing? Like, get on the field. You got to learn how to get hit again. You got to you got to be able to run through tackles. There's so much that you should do right now. I mean, everybody makes a joke about how, like, last year, Josh Jacobs was playing into the fourth quarter in the Hall of Fame game. Yeah. Well, look who led the league in rushing last season. Yeah. Josh Jacobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I just think that and I think that's an extreme, but. I mean, you got to give him something, but if I had to guess, I I think Najee Harris touches the football twice, maybe in this game, maybe three times. Like the, maybe on that first drive, they just go one, two, three, Najee, then it's over. Najee doesn't he doesn't touch the football again. That would be my prediction. I, I really hope he plays more than that because that would be that'd be kind of disappointing. Because like you know, I, yeah, at some point he's got to get hit. Like and because especially the way we're kind of talking about things now is that like. Jalen's earning more more of a role. Like I think yep. he's he's going to play more. So at a certain point, I think you got to ask yourself, like, what are we saving him for? You know, like you can't wrap him in bubble wrap for the entire season. Like, nope. You know, if they go up seven point, if they score on their first drive in the in week one, what are you going to shut him down? Like, you know, it's it's like what I, I don't know. It, to me, this seems to be a little. We've swung a little too hard the opposite direction, and I I, I don't know. I I, I would. I hope Najee plays more than that. I, I get what you're saying too. That but that would just be it'd be disappointing and like 
I don't know, just just play football, man. Like I don't know, that kind of what, is what it comes down to to me. I agree. I agree. Got to play some football, especially as a running back. Got to play some football. Like, like you said it at the beginning of, of the preseason, you're like, Kenny doesn't have to, Kenny just has to get hit. Like that's all he's got to do is get hit. Now he's got to get hit too. He doesn't know how to get hit right now. Like he hasn't gotten hit almost all he's gotten hit. I can count on two hands. How many times this guy has gotten hit since January. That is, that's very concerning. I don't know, but I expect the rest of them. Like I expect Kenny, I think Kenny could play into the second quarter. I think that we could see that unless it's like oh, yeah. super successful drives. But I think that I think I, we could see Kenny and a lot of those starters into the second quarter. I think TJ's gone after like a series or two. I think Alex and Cam and Mink are the same. I think most of the defensive starters outside of those four will be gone just because like, you know, unfortunately you could replace Cole Holcomb. You could replace DeMonte KZ. You can't replace TJ Watt. You can't replace Minka Fitzpatrick. You know what I mean? You can't replace Cam Hayward. So I just think that you keep those guys fresh. And it's not like that. I mean, like we watch TJ Watt every single day. He doesn't, you yeah. know, you don't, you don't got to put him in a football good. game. He'll, yeah. He'll yeah. be just fine. You know, the rest of them too. So I see those guys taking a back seat this game a little bit after maybe a series or two, but I see Kenny going into the second quarter. I see a lot of Jalen Warren. I see a lot of uh, Anthony McFarland. I see very little now, but maybe they will. Maybe, you know, it is as much of as it's a Mike Tomlin thing to like rush Jalen 30 times in this game just to be like, ha, 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 love messing with you guys. <laughs> it's a Mike Tomlin thing that like Najee will rush the ball like 80 times just to be like, see, shut up. Just yeah, shut Get up. off my back. Yeah. Yeah. It'll go either way. I could also see like Kenny plays into the second quarter. But he's playing with like Calvin Austin and Cam Hayward, yes. and uh, or not Cam Hayward, Connor, Connor Hayward, Hayward. Yeah. um, and Gunner and yeah, I guess George. Uh, I, I think the same thing could go on the defensive side, where like Alandon Roberts and Cole Holcomb are playing for yeah. a little bit longer. Well, like you said, TJ and Cam, and even probably Pat Pete. Like they seem to just be yeah. good with Pat Pete. Like they seem to have seen everything they need to from Pat Pete, which. I don't know if I feel the same way, but no. they clearly don't don't feel concerned about it at all. No, I, I agree with you. I am. I would like to see a lot of Pat P. I I would like to see yeah. a lot of Joey Porter. I would love to see a lot. of Like, I want to see those three, Levi, Pat and Joey on the field almost for the first half. Like, you know, at once once Drake London and, you know, Atlanta, I have Pitt. no idea who else plays Cal- for it. Yeah, yeah, Kyle Pitts, but he's a tight end, but he does play wide receiver as well. Just, I don't know who else starts for that team besides B. John Robinson and mm-hmm. Desmond Ritter, but yeah. I want to see their starters on the field as long as Pat P., Joey Porter, and Levi are on the field. Yeah. And once they come off, then then everybody can come off. That's fine. But yeah. until then, like, they have to. They have, like, have to. You just, you have, you cannot feel comfortable about that trio and what you're planning to do with that trio. I mean, Mike Tomlin said it today. We feel fine with Pat P in the slot. How do you know? You have no, you haven't tested that one time. Like, you've no idea how good you feel right. about Pat P in the slot. I think they got to work those guys. I don't know if they do, but. Well, I mean, this that's is also a major concern. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but this is just no. such a. This is such a perfect matchup to do that in. Like you said, like Kyle Pitts is going to get split out a little bit. Like yep. those are the guy like and Drake London too, going to play in the slot a little bit. I, I would have to assume like those are the guys that you got Pat Pete for, you know, like those are yep. the body types. Those are the talent levels. Like this is a great matchup, I think, for for him or to at least test him. Um, yep. Maybe not, you know, I great in the traditional sense of great matchup, but uh, it's a good matchup for him to get tested by or tested through. And Mm -hmm. I I want to see that. Like we talked about that in the last pod, like one of the biggest things that we're looking out for is just secondary guys getting tested. Let's do it. Let's, let's go. 